Anybody here? Compared to this place, Arcadia was about as alien as my bedroom. Blue sand. Never seen that outside of a Picasso. He's not in here, so he must have survived the landing, but where is he? Adrian? Adrian! fly across. Since I don't, I'll just have to head back down to the desert and try to find my way around the chasm. It's like... home. It's home. It's not... it's like a projection, but it's definitely the kitchen back home. The way it used to look when I was... eight or nine. God, now what's happening to me? What? Who's there? You're not a bad person. You're not. Really, d don't. I'm not your daddy. I'm not your daddy. You came into our lives and you destroyed us. You took advantage of us. You're a frightful little beast. But daddy, you gave me this. You 
gave this to me, Daddy. You do care. You do love me. You're just not very good at it. No. You destroyed us. We were a... a family, and you... God forgive me. What have I done? What have I done to you? You did nothing, Daddy. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault that I got hurt. I... I'd been drinking, and I... She was so beautiful. My little April, you were so beautiful. We wanted to give you a home. We wanted to be what your biological parents couldn't be. A family. That night, when we brought you home, I'd had a few drinks with the guys. I was feeling feeling a little dizzy, and and then your mother, she says to me, hold her, hold your baby girl in your arms, and I take you, and I hold you, and you, you look up at me with such startled eyes, like, like it's the first time you see somebody like me. I fell in love with you, my little baby. You were so beautiful, and you smiled at me, and then I, I don't know what happened, but I was, I was taking a step forward, and I stumbled. You fell to the floor, but you didn't cry, you didn't even whimper. When the doctors told us you would never walk, oh my baby, I couldn't stand the guilt. I. I don't know why that made me into the monster that I am. Why I decided that hurting you was the only way I could face my shame. When you started walking, and then getting better and better at it, it was like you were mocking me. I was such a fool, a selfish fool, and now I, I lost you. Forever. I forgive you. You do? Yes, I forgive you for everything. I forgive you. I forgive you, Daddy. Finally, I thought I'd never make it here. circling the tower and there doesn't seem to be any way across. friend. April, what the heck? What happened? Yeah, what did happen? You're asking me? I was just, um, helping this cute little sparrow with her new nest up in Riverwood. Next thing I know, there's a blue light, and then... I thought for sure I'd been shot by a hunter's arrow and that you were an angel. Then I had a look around the place. This ain't heaven. I mean... This ain't heaven, is it? Sure it is, Crow. And I'm the Archangel April. Sweet! Are there any other birds in heaven? Hmm? Are there? Are there? Pretty ones? Hmm? We got all the dodos you could ever want. Oh, that's great! That's... Dodos? Dodos? You gotta be kidding me! Oh, I see. You are kidding me. Ha 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 ha, very funny. Why the heck did you bring me here to have a good laugh at my expense? I need to find a way across this canyon and into that tower over there. Why don't you just flap your wings and fly then? <laughs> That's funny! I kill myself! Flap your wings and fly! Oh baby, whoo, that's a zinger. I gotta write that down.
around somewhere. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> flap your wings and fly. <laughs> Jeez. Anyways, when did you ever need my help? Oh, sure, you brought me along. Let me do your dirty work once in a while. But come on. You could have done just as well on your own. I mean, you just left me high and dry at the end there, didn't you? Just up and left without a word of goodbye. I didn't mean to leave you like that, Crow, but you couldn't come with me. Oh, sure. Use me, then leave me. Don't worry, I know how that works. I'm not half as innocent as you seem to think. But I thought we were friends. Crow, we are friends. Good friends. That why you gave me the name Crow? Oh, I thought it was nice, all right. Real ring to it. Until I found out what a crow actually is over there in Stark. Crow? Right. Crow. The sneakiest, dirtiest, most despised bird there is. They're like flying rats. You even have something called a scarecrow to chase us off with, don't you? I mean, crows are so stupid. They're scared off by straw people dressed in rags. Huh. And that's the name you come up with? Crow? <laughs> bah! That's not- No? No excuses. I can't bear it. Oh, the pain. The pain. That's all I am to you, a flying flea bag? I'm sorry. I can't bear to look at you anymore. I gotta fly. Stay and shut up. But I you... knew that name because of a cartoon character I loved when I was a kid. His name was Crowboy. Crowboy? He was the star of a series of what we call animated cartoons. It's like puppet theater. You can watch on a canvas or a screen. Puppet theater. I love puppet theater. Crowboy was just the coolest bird there ever was. He was a crow and a cowboy. And he had a hat and a lasso and an albatross called Old Whitey that he rode on. He had an albatross? His own albatross? And every week he'd come to a new town where the bad guys were making life tough for everybody else. And he'd sort it out like a real hero. He was a hero? Crowboy? So that's why I called you Crow. I figured you're not a cowboy. So it'll be just Crow. And besides, I think crows are cool. Oh, damn. Got right. Yeah, dip, you know, damn. You know, I, bruh, me and my big beak. I couldn't keep it shut, could I? I had to say something stupid. I'm so stupid, dumb, stupid, stupid, dumb, dumb, stupid. It was a misunderstanding, Crow. It could have happened to anybody, even good friends, especially good friends. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but I'm so stupid. Are you going to keep beating yourself up, or are you going to help me? Time's running short. Of course I'm going to help you. Anything for you, April. Just tell old Crow what to do, and he'll do it. Like that. I can be a hero too, just like Crowboy! Okay, let me think. Crow, I need you to fly down into the canyon to see what's below the fog. Into the... canyon? Below the fog? Are you scared? I didn't say that. It's just... well... Fog clings to my feathers and... and... Would Crowboy do it? Crowboy would do it, but he'd be careful not to get hurt, and he'd come right back up again if he saw anything remotely dangerous. Of course. Okay. Hold tight. I'll be back soon. So what did you see, Crow? What was below the fog? You're not gonna believe me. What? I told you, you're not going to believe me. Just tell me what you saw. Nothing. Nothing? As in nothing out of the ordinary? No, as in nothing at all. The absence of anything. Below the fog, there was nothing. It was terrifying. Until you've seen what nothing looks like, you won't be able to fully appreciate something, anything at all. I used to hate this blue sand. I mean... Blue sand? What the heck? Now, though, I love it. It's sand, and it's blue. It's something. Not like that. Nothing down there. It was freaky. So there's no way I can climb down, cross over, and climb up on the other side? 
You'll fall into the nothing. I'm telling you, I don't even think time passes down there. You'd be falling through nothing forever. Damn. Crow, can you fly across the canyon to the base of the tower? Can a chick lay eggs? Well, I know you can't, but... Yeah, I can do that. Um, what was it you wanted me to do again? Just fly across the canyon and see if you can find any weird buttons or levers or something like that. What for? There must be a way to cross this canyon, and maybe there's a magical bridge that needs to be activated. I don't know, Crow. Just fly across and check it out, okay? Will do. Hang on. What am I saying? Of course you'll hang on. It's not like you have any other choice. What did you find? No bridge, that's for sure. But there's a well on the other side, on top of that conical sandstone staircase right below the tower. It looked magical. It had that no good stay the heck away blue shimmer to it so i didn't fly any closer who knows where i'd end up that's got to be the well of making well maybe it can be making us a bridge then <laughs> making us a bridge <laughs> i'm killing i'm killing today you're easily amused crow my brain's one tenth the size of yours what do you want from me but maybe you got a point Maybe the Well of Making can help us somehow. It was only a joke, April. I know, but still. Crow, I want you to get me some water from the Well of Making. What? Are you crazy? How am I supposed to carry water back from... Oh, no. No, 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 no. There's no way I'm doing that. Come on, Crow. Your beak is perfect for the purpose. I don't need a lot of water, and all you have to do is make sure you don't swallow. Hey, magic's got its upsides, I'm sure. I mean, where would social welfare be without magic? But magic water in my beak? No way. What if I did swallow? If I'm lucky, I'll just explode or something. If not... I've heard stories, April, and none of them are very nice. Magic's not a toy, nor is it a food, and it certainly doesn't belong in my beak. Please, time's running short and the balance is at stake. You've got to help me, Crow. Don't you want to be a hero? Hero? Sure. Stooge? No. Oh, curses and damnation and all things mean and ugly. Fine. I'll put my life on the line tempt fate and risk a certain and painful death by magical poisoning if if what if you'll promise to pluck my fleas for the next uh, year one year so honor and glory mean nothing to you not as much as a good flea plucking no okay deal now fly yikes How did it go? Oh, good. Oh, we got way of what to do. What do I want you to do? I can't take the water, so you're gonna have to do whatever it is we need done with it. All right, move it. I'm over the fire for a case to see the point while I'm being a thing. Okay, let me think about it for a second. I got an idea, Crow. Well? You said there was nothing down there, right? The absence of anything. Uh-huh. The water in your mouth is magical water from the well of making. Oh. So what if we add the magic of making to nothing? What happens then? Um. Something, right? Uh, I like it. Something's better than nothing. Fly down there and spit the water out on top of the nothing. Then get out quickly. Something will happen, I'm sure of it. I'm just not sure what exactly. Oh, that's something all right. But what? Where's Crow? 
Crow! Crow! Oh, please let him be all right, wherever he is. It's been a long journey getting here, but this is it. The end of the road. All I have to do now is figure out how to get up into the tower. I thought I'd already passed the three trials. There's always something. I guess it's not supposed to be easy. It's the well of making. It's very deep and very clear, and obviously magical. God, you came. I thought you were lost for good. My path here diverged from yours. You had to pass the three trials. You were right in warning me. This place is like a Freudian nightmare. The first psychologist to arrange field trips here will rake in a fortune. I mean, talk about shock therapy. It is a sacred place. Only the chosen few can pass through the desolation. But then why didn't my hand work on the well of making? I mean, I passed all the tests, right? That is a mystery. You are to be the 13th Guardian, are you not? The balance has picked you. Your hand should have unlocked the tower, like mine did. Why did it still react to your hand? Even though I left the tower, I am still the current Guardian. And I will continue to be, until you go through the ritual and take my place. Hold on. I think we're about to move. The tower is letting us in. I would see this place again. It's cold. Was it always this cold? I do not know. When I was here last, I did not feel much at all. Well, I'm freezing. I spent more than 1,000 years in this tower, and yet I cannot remember 
ever feeling warm or cold. Being Guardian, there is just the balance and our duty to it. You didn't feel anything? There are no emotions. Emotions interfere with the balance. I was the conduit between magic and logic, between chaos and order. And I had to be clean. That sounds horrible. It never felt that way. I was content. As far as it was possible for me to be content. Until the very end, when I became restless. That's when you left the tower? I had no choice. The balance forced me out. I was polluting the flows that passed through me, through this room. And it was time for someone to succeed me. So now it's... it's my turn. To be Guardian. Are you afraid? I've never been so afraid in my life. A thousand years. Everything will be gone when I'm... when I'm done. My friends, my family... dead. My world probably changed beyond recognition. I know, April. I have experienced this myself. When I returned to Stark, I could not believe that all the things I knew, the memories of a life that I recalled as clearly as if it were only yesterday, they were all gone. I was lost, alone, dying, until the Vanguard picked me up from the street and imprisoned me. It shames me to say it, but that was a relief. To be fed, to sleep comfortably, to be warm. You have every right to be afraid, but consider this. Your sacrifice will be the salvation of mankind, of two worlds. What greater gift is there? What greater reward than to know you are like a god? Believe me, I could do without the reward. If there was any other way, I'd embrace it in a second. But I won't shy away from this either. If it is my destiny, then so be it. Good. To wish for the loss of dreams and emotions would be wrong. But to acknowledge it in the face of your fears, this proves you are ready. Okay. So, what now? What do I do? Just walk to the edge of the disk. The tower will know what to do. If you are the new guardian, the tower will embrace you. All right, here it goes. One thousand years. Nothing's happening. You are right. Then it is as I suspected. What? What did you suspect? That you are not the one chosen to take my place in the tower. You are not the 13th Guardian. But if I'm not, then... I think I may be able to answer that question, Miss Ryan. You! How, How the hell did you get here? You didn't think your little games back at the station would fool anyone, did you? Well, aside from those moronic and useless guards. It puzzles me why Mr. McAllen could be such a visionary and yet be so lacking in his comprehension of human nature to surround himself with brainless louts. Maybe because he wasn't human. He was not. That would explain a lot. If he was not human, then what was he? You mean, you didn't know? He was your boss, and you had no idea who you were working for. How pathetic can you get? Don't toy with me, child! Don't you dare toy with me! I... I... don't. I do not. prone to anger. In fact, I'm usually quite incapable of it. Must be the environment that's... I don't feel quite right. Like there's something in here that's calling to me. What are you doing to me? I don't know what you're talking about, Gordon. No matter. I can ignore this. It's so hot in here. Don't you feel it? The heat 
I'm freezing. Maybe you should lie down for a minute or two. <laughs> Maybe you should lie down, Miss Ryan. I actually have a good reason to be here, but you do not. After all, you are no longer a candidate in this race, are you? I may not become the new Guardian, but neither will you. The Balance will never accept you. Don't be so sure, April. I... Th that's your name, is it not? April? Yeah. I will be the Guardian. The Balance will have no choice. Not with you and the previous Guardian. Gone. And I'm... I'm... There's something. Here, isn't there? Someone's calling my name. Someone's... No. No. Not that. Not here. You brought it here, you stupid bitch! Stop! No! Stay away from me! Don't! No! Myself. And I'm better than I've ever been, April. I I'm whole again. So it worked? The joining of two halves? Magic and logic. Order and chaos. I'm in balance now. I am balance. And it's glorious. I'm sorry for what I did to you, April. And to you, sir. I I'm sorry for everything. It wasn't you. Not all of you, anyway. It was me, but it misguided me. I, I wish I could undo all the harm I've done to both worlds. Both as Gordon Holloway and as the Chaos Vortex. But I can't undo my actions. All I can do is make sure they'll never happen again. And the only way to ensure that is by becoming the Guardian. You? The Guardian? It's my destiny, April Ryan, not yours. I was born to be the Guardian, and although the Vanguard almost managed to prevent that from ever happening, they didn't succeed. And now, I'm ready. Thanks to you. But what about me? If I'm not going to be the Guardian, then who am I? That's something I cannot answer for you, April. Only you can do that. But I don't think the universe is done with you. You are important. Just not in the way you imagined. He speaks the truth, April. He is to be the Guardian now. It was always his destiny, even though it was taken from him by the Vanguard. We will begin the changing of the Guards now, Gordon. And you, April. Thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice, your courage, your kindness. Okay, stop. You're making me feel very self-conscious. I only did what had to be done. Which is more than most people would have done. Your journey here will be remembered, April Ryan. Remembered and retold for all time. Right now, I'm only concerned about what's coming next. Where do I go now? Where can I go? That is your choice to make. But do not fret. This world will never hurt you again. How do I get back to Stark? Or Arcadia, for that matter? Walk. Walk until you are outside. And then go back inside. It is easy from here. You can go anywhere you wish. I guess then that this is goodbye. Perhaps we will meet again. Yeah, why not? 
It's not an impossible thought. Anyway, you guys have an important job to get to. Don't let me hold you back. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. the end of that. Funny. Now I feel almost melancholy, despite everything that's happened. I'm actually gonna miss this. This adventure. After all, what am I doing now? Going back to school? Live like nothing has happened? Like I'm just a... a normal person? Well, it's a long way home. I'll figure it out before I get there. Wherever there is. Hey! Hey, April, wait up! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave me here! So the story goes. Is that it? But whatever happened to April Ryan? And did that man Gordon Halloway become a good and just guardian? That is the end. If you had studied your scriptures, child, you would know that the 13th guardian was the last guardian to watch over the balance. Was it after his reign that the worlds were reunited? During his reign. Not long after the events I have just described. Please tell us more. Tell us what happened to April and about the reunification of Stark and Arcadia. I think I will save those stories for another night. I'm feeling tired, and it is late. I would see you out, but my legs... Thank you, Lady Alvani. We'll find our way out ourselves. Thank you again for your hospitality and for your story. And so the story goes. How strange it was to tell it again. To remember April Ryan. That was such a long, long time ago. And now, now my story is almost over as well. Uh, you're as healthy as ever. You still got a lot of life left in you. Wish I was half as lucky. Don't say that. You're okay. You can still fly. Fly, yes. <laughs> but those cute little birds, they don't seem to appreciate that. They're holding out for their young, handsome suitors, and they don't have time for an old crow like me. Well, you got me, crow. Isn't that something? I guess. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, of course. Unless... You're not planning on going out there again, are you? On a new adventure? Because... I don't know. I'm kind of happy staying here. Don't worry, Crow. I think our adventuring days are over. That doesn't mean we can't tell stories, does it? No. Definitely not. Tell me one. Tell me the one about the young, beautiful warrior princess who single-handedly won the War of the Balance. Hmm. I don't remember it quite like that, Crow, but let's see. 
This story begins a long, long time ago, when Stark and Arcadia were still to be reunited, and the Guardian was still on his throne.